Section seventeen of Goblin Market and Other Poems by Christina Rossetti. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. My Dream Here now a curious dream I dreamed last night, each word whereof is weighed and sifted truth. I stood beside Euphrates while it swelled, like overflowing Jordan in its youth. It waxed and coloured sensibly to sight, Till out of myriad pregnant waves there welled young crocodiles, A gaunt, blunt-featured crew, Fresh-hatched, perhaps, and daubed with birthday dew. The rest, if I should tell, I fear my friend, My closest friend, would deem the facts untrue, And therefore it were wisely left untold, Yet, if you will, why hear it to the end? Each crocodile was girt with massive gold and polished stones, That with their wearers grew. But one there was who waxed beyond the rest, Wore kinglier girdle and a kingly crown, Whilst crowns and orbs and sceptres starred his breast. All gleamed compact and green with scale on scale, but special burnishment adorned his mail, And special terror weighed upon his frown. His punier brethren quaked before his tail, Broad as a rafter, potent as a flail. So he grew lord and master of his kin, But who shall tell the tale of all their woes? An execrable appetite arose. He battened on them, crunched, and sucked them in. He knew no law, he feared no binding law, But ground them with inexorable jaw. The luscious fat distilled upon his chin, Exuded from his nostrils and his eyes, While still like hungry death he fed his maw, Till every minor crocodile being dead, And buried too, himself gorged to the full, He slept with breath oppressed and unstrung claw. O oh, marvel passing strange which next I saw! In sleep he dwindled to the common size, And all the empire faded from his coat. Then from far off a winged vessel came, Swift as a swallow, subtle as a flame. I know not what it bore of freight or host, But white it was, as an avenging ghost. It levelled strong Euphrates in its course, Supreme yet weightless as an idle moat, It seemed to tame the waters without force, Till not a murmur swelled or billow beat. Lo, as the purple shadow swept the sands, The prudent crocodile rose on his feet, And shed appropriate tears, and wrung his hands. What can it mean? you ask. I answer not for meaning, but myself must echo, what? And tell it as I saw it on the spot. End of section seventeen.